Hey guys, Satan, welcome back to our channel. So it was just my birthday and I'm officially 17. It is kind of crazy. And today, as you saw in the title, we are making a giant cinnamon bun. It is insane, it is crazy. And before I tell you the story of how I came up with this, uh, let's just get started. Over here on my stovetop, I have some milk that has been preheating and is now nice and warm, which is exactly what we want. So we're gonna take our milk right over here and pour it into our stand mixer. You don't want it to be hot, you just want it to be nice and warm. All right, there we go, that is now in here. Just add a little pinch of sugar, and then finally a packet of yeast into there. We're gonna let that proof for about five minutes. All right, so now that I've added in our yeast, let me tell you about how I came up with this recipe. So every year for my birthday, I like to make something big and crazy. Fun fact about me, or maybe not such a fun fact, I hate cake. It's not the cake that's the problem, I'm the problem. I hate cake for some reason, so I never wanna have a birthday cake, I wanna have something different. So last year, I made a birthday cookie, and this year, I was talking to one of my best friends, Manny, and I'm like, what am I gonna do for my birthday? I have to think of something new and exciting for my birthday. And he said, why don't you make a giant cinnamon bun, which is exactly what I'm doing today. Uh, if you guys follow me on like Instagram or anything, you know that I literally eat cinnamon buns as often as possible, at least like every other day I try to have them, they're that good. So I'm making a giant cinnamon, it is absolutely crazy, like the perfect thing that I want on my birthday. Okay, so we're gonna let this now proof for about five minutes, get nice and bubbly, and then we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so our yeast has it now gotten nice and bubbly, and let's add in the rest of our ingredients. So right over here we have two eggs that I cracked straight into here. There we go. Let's also add in some of our sugar, well not some of our sugar, all of our sugar straight into there. You know, Cinnabons are a treat, so it's gotta be some sugar in there. We also have some salt, but it's kind of important, I think, to add in the salt after you add in the sugar, uh, just so it doesn't kill the yeast right away, because that's what the salt can do sometimes. Uh, and over here we have some two sticks of room temperature butter. It is very important that it is room temperature, nice and soft. Uh, if it's straight out of the fridge, then it's just really not gonna work, and you definitely don't want it melted. So some nice room temperature butter into there. And finally, we're gonna add in about half of the flour. You don't wanna add in all the flour, uh, just, whoa, just about half the flour, then we'll add the rest of the flour in after. All right, that looks good, and now let's start mixing that up. While that mixes up, I'm gonna slowly add in more flour until it comes together into a ball of dough. Once it comes together into a ball of dough, I'm gonna take it out, knead it together until it's nice and smooth. All right, so this machine has actually done a lot of the work for us, which is what's great about using a stand mixer. Uh, so it's really done most of the kneading for us, but we're just gonna do a little more kneading here on our surface. All right, so our dough is now done rising and it's time to make the giant cinnamon bun, okay? So let's take out our dough from over here. Let's lightly flour our surface and let's start rolling out. You wanna kinda of make it into a nice big around like eight by 24 rectangle. You wanna make sure the whole time you're moving it around so you don't get any sticking. All right, so this is now rolled out nicely. And what I'm gonna do over here is I have a stick of butter that I've now softened. Some of it kind of melts a little bit, but that's all good. You wanna put on the full stick of butter. Okay, we're not trying to be healthy over here. We're having a giant Cinnabon. So we're putting an entire stick of butter on there. We're getting our hands nice and messy. Don't worry, they're washed. Uh, and we're just spreading this all over the top of here. It is going to be absolutely delicious. It's actually insane. All right, so I know my hands are pretty messy, but it's okay, because it's all going in the same place. Right over here, I have some dark brown sugar. I'm gonna add some cinnamon straight into there, and we're just gonna kind of mix that together to make the filling. So you don't have to do the best job. It'll all mix together over here. All right, I think that's fine. And now let's just put this all over the top. Let's just get that all on there. There we go. And you know we can actually mix some more of the cinnamon into there to make sure we get an even distribution and spread this all out. I mean, how incredible does this already look? Like, this is insane. This was such a good idea, Manny, by the way. Uh, it's actually incredible, okay. 
All right, so we are now back and it is now time to finish this up. This video is probably longer than my usual videos, but you know, it's like a birthday special, uh, so it's okay. Let's just butter our big eight inch cast iron skillet over here. Um, so now that I'm 17, I feel like it's kind of crazy. Like I'm one year away from being a full fledged adult. In a year from now, I can vote. Uh, what else can I do? I can, I don't know what I can do. I'm gonna be an adult, kind of crazy. Um, I have one more year of high school left. And yeah, it is really crazy being, I mean, it doesn't really feel different to be 17, to be honest, but uh, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. And I know, oh my God, I know the question I'm gonna get. The question I'm gonna get is, do you have your license? No, I was the idiot who waited way too long to get my permit. And now I actually can't have my license for like another two months. So yeah, just get your permit quickly, guys. It was a bad mistake. All right, back to the Cinnabons. We're now gonna cut this into three thick strips along the long side, just like this. And the reason we're doing three is we're making one giant cinnamon bun. So watch, we have each of those sides. And you wanna take whichever one of the three is actually the tallest, that's where, you're gonna, that's where you're gonna make the middle one. So now let's just roll this up. There we go, look at that. Bam! All right, and now we're gonna place that right into the center like that. Then, this part is a little bit tricky. What you're gonna do is you're gonna roll the second one, but kind of roll it lightly, because we're actually gonna unroll it. It's just an easy way to travel with it. Then, we are going to, wait, how do I wanna do this? Here we go. We're going to place this like that, and just continue to roll it around. Wait, you wanna kinda of do that tightly. It's a little bit of a technique to get right. There we go. There, okay. And then finally, the last one, right over here. All around there. I mean, look at that. That is a giant Cinnabon. Okay, what I'm gonna do over here is we have, I mean, let's just take a second to acknowledge this beauty of creation over here. It is literally everything I've ever wanted in my life. All right, so now this is done, I'm going to cover it. I'm gonna let it rise for about another hour until it gets nice and puffy. I'm then gonna give it a nice egg wash and pop in the oven. And now, since we're making a giant Cinnabon, you gotta cook it low and slow. So we're cooking it at 325 for about 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on top and fully cooked on the inside. Then we're gonna top it with the most amazing glaze ever. It's gonna be the best birthday dessert ever made. All right, it is the moment we have all been waiting for. The Cinnabon, the giant Cinnabon, is now finished baking and it is right in front of us. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. Yes, our Cinnabon is a little bit slanted. Uh, I think the Cinnabon party a little too hard for my birthday, if you know what I mean, but we're gonna work with it. It'll still be absolutely delicious, so no worries. Now, before we eat this, we're actually gonna make a super quick cream cheese glaze that is the perfect thing to top it with. So over here, we just have some softened cream cheese right into there. Then we're just gonna go in there with some softened butter. You know, we already have this like super rich and like not exactly the healthiest uh, Cinnabon over here. So we're just gonna go on with this crazy good cream cheese frosting on top, or cream cheese glaze, however you wanna call it. Get all that powdered sugar in there and then you're gonna whip it up until it's nice and white. All right, there we go. Our glaze is now done. And let's just grab a nice big knife and we're just gonna spread it all over the top of the Cinnabon. I mean, is this not like the most incredible thing you've ever seen in your whole life? If this is not, then I don't know what is. Okay, we just want a lot. There's no such thing as too much glaze on a Cinnabon in my opinion, or really, not even in my opinion, it's a fact, okay? Don't even like fight me about it. Cinnabons are the best thing on earth, okay? All right, I just got some awesome close-up shots of this and now it is time to eat it. Okay, let's just cut a big slice of this. You know, it's my birthday, so I get the first slice and the big slice. Literally everyone in my family is waiting to eat this right now because it just filled the house with the most incredible smell on earth. Let's get some more of the glaze on there. And here we go. Mm. Wow, that is seriously delicious. Like, I know I always say everything's delicious because it is, but like, this is on a whole other level. It is literally a cinnamon bun lover's dream. It is just so perfectly cooked on the inside. The dough is nice and soft on the inside, crunchy on the outside. 
packed with that amazing cinnamon flavor, topped with that incredible cream cheese glaze. It is just out of this world and is the perfect thing for my birthday. Like this is all I want on my birthday. And if my next year of my life is even half of as good as, as this is, uh, I'll be off to a great start because this is insane. If you guys want to make this, as always, the link to it is in the description box below. Uh, you can also leave a comment down below. Do you love cinnamon buns? Do you somehow not like cinnamon buns? I hate saying this, but maybe there's some of you who don't. I want to hear about that down below. What do you like to eat on your birthday? Let me know that all that in the comments below. Hit that like button because look how incredible this looks. You have no excuse not to hit the like button, so go do that. And if you haven't already, be sure to click that big red subscribe button. If you haven't clicked it yet, just click it right now as a birthday present to me. I'd appreciate it so much. Uh, yeah, it would be awesome. Cannot wait for another exciting year with you all. And you know what? I'm just going to stop talking and enjoy my giant birthday cinnamon bun in peace because it's insane.